Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to a new episode of Swing Ideas with myself, Vegas, from I Love Stocks 1 and Breakout Plays from Breakout Plays 1. And so we're going to review last week's picks. We had Square and Tesla. And then we have some new picks for you guys this week. So make sure you are paying attention and you have your pen and paper ready to take notes. So let's first talk about Square. We saw last week, Square finally made the nice move. You guys know Square is called Block. I keep saying Square because that was that was the name of the company before. And uh, now it's called Block. As you can see, it looks like a block. And nice and green background because that was a really nice green trade. So I'm going to turn it over to um, Mr. Breakout Plays to show to us the chart on Square and talk to us about that trade and how it went. So over to you, Breakout Plays. Let's talk about Block. Thank you, Vegas. Yeah, uh, th this chart I've noted from last week, it was, it was a chart with all the markings we spoke about in last week's video. Uh, basically, it tried to do a push up on Thursday, as you can see, but it failed. Um, you know, it came back down a little bit, but you know, Friday was the day to take this. Like I said, all these areas are marked from last week. Nothing has changed. Uh, I told you guys to watch the 79.40 area purely because of this uptrend line. So once we broke down there, we want to be watching that for resistance. So obviously, as the week went on, the resistance gets higher. So we're at the place now on uh, SQ, which is a nice trade on Monday and uh, last week. And congratulations if any of you took it. Uh, we hit the initial target of 81. So just keep in mind going forward, guys. The stock is still strong. We could see some more upside, but I would like to see this downtrend line uh, bust back through before any more upside with an initial target of 82 centi. But from last week, if you caught the trade, well done. You should have banked nice on that on Friday. Very nice trade. So congrats if anyone took that trade. And uh, of course, Breakout Plays loves trading breakouts like myself. That's why we love doing videos together. And okay. so I'm going to show you guys his new pick this week. We have a really new one. Uh, let me just see here. And I just got to show you guys his new pick this week. And here we go. Okay, so we have a new pick here, CrowdStrike. And I love the company's website. I don't, I mean, the red, my God, sounds creepy, creepy color uh, for the stock market. We don't love red. Actually, no, I shouldn't say that because we love red when the, when we're buying puts. So we have CrowdStrike, <laughs> cybersecurity platform. And you can see here, I mean, they're into everything. I mean, look how crazy their website is. They got managed services, cloud security, IT, threat intelligence, identity protection, CrowdStrike store. I mean, they just got everything. They have the threat, uh, threat graph. Uh, they do workstation servers, virtual machines. You name it, they're in it. Anything with cybersecurity, these guys are involved. So I'm going to turn it over now to Breakout Plays to talk to us about um, CrowdStrike and his thoughts on this pick this week because they do have earnings on Tuesday, I believe. So this will be probably a play. I'm assuming that you're going to play this leading in the hype, the hype into earnings. So I'll turn it over to you and you can talk to us about your pick. Beautiful chart, by the way. I love that chart. Yeah, thank you, Vegas. And yeah, that, that's the plan for myself personally. You know, obviously we don't know what the market's going to do come Monday, but just to show you guys the weekly first, my initial plan on this is I'm looking for the fill in this volume shelf on the weekly. This is the weekly chart. So my entry point on crowd will be 127.50. Now, as, as we mentioned, Vegas, they got earnings Tuesday off the bell. I will not be holding through earnings. I hopefully will be playing this the, into the run-up into earnings. So that's a weekly. And this is the reason why I like it, guys. We're above some massive volume on the daily. Now we're on the daily chart. We're above the ISI angered VWAP, which we're above this volume shelf. So th these are the plays I like. I, I'm looking to fill this uh, volume gap back up and this gap on the daily back to the 135 area 136 so just to reiterate my play on crowd will be playing it leading up to earnings which is after the bell on tuesday my entry i'm looking at 127.50 to break an old with initial target of 135 and looking at these bigger time frames guys i don't see any reason unless earnings is bad obviously and it tanks but on the run up to earnings if they want to push us and run it up i don't see any reason technically why this can't fill to 135, 136, providing the market conditions are right. So yeah, Vegas, that's what I'm basically looking at. 
a break of 127.50 with initial target of 136. Oh, I love that. That sounds good. And you know what? I traded CrowdStrike last week too, like during the day. And uh, I didn't get all my targets, but it was still a really great day trade. And, and you know, people need to remember, you know, CrowdStrike is actually a very volatile stock to trade because it does pop and pull, push and pull. So keep, you know, keep in mind that, um, you know, sometimes it is choppy to trade and then all of a sudden it just breaks out. So what would be... Um, a stop loss on CrowdStrike that you'd be looking at if you're if you just if it turns out that the trade does trigger for you, what would be your stop loss? Well, personally, I, I normally risk about twenty percent of the premium, but like I said, guys, the entries are going to be important on you. So I'd be looking for one twenty seven fifty to hold. I'll check out the strikes on uh, the weekly options table and see which one's got the most vo uh, volume. And then, obviously, depending on the stock is moving, will with earnings being Tuesday, I'm not looking to take a further out strike to hold through earnings or to hold overnight even because I, I won't be swinging this. I, I'm purely looking for a, a day trade on this, so I'll probably be looking to play in the money with um, my stops at about 20% on the premium. But again, it's down cool. to it, it's down to the market movement. You know, if I'm green on a trade, if I, and, and to your point as well, Vegas, if I end at 127.50 and the trade is working, that doesn't mean I'm holding regardless to 135. You know, I, I'm here like the rest of us to make money. If I won't be giving profits back to the market, I'll be being a momentum trader. You know, I take the money when I see the money. So hopefully we hit 135. But if I can get a good return percent wise on those uh, contracts, I'll also be selling when the weakness sets in as well. If and when the weakness sets in. Okay. Well, you know what? I like that. I like that you said you risk 20% of the premium. So that's great. And thank you so much for that pick. And we're going to move on now to my pick that i had last week which was tesla and you guys know it had uh, investors day which by the way uh wasn't that exciting it was actually kind of boring and uh so it be it that there's a red car because the stock did not do that great uh the stock pulled back um after the event and during actually even during the event the stock had pulled back let me try to uh pull up here tesla chart but you know the stock very very disappointed uh with uh tesla's uh, performance but you know it did go make a move the day or two prior and then unfortunately the stock pulled back so that's why you know it was an event play a lot of traders didn't didn't hold into the event because they know from the past i've said this before you know tesla's had a tendency before to have an event and then it just doesn't play out so let me show you the um uh, tesla tesla chart Oops, hold on. I screwed up with that screen share. One sec, guys. You know, can you do? Here we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> and I'll go to uh, Tesla chart. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so here we go with Tesla chart. I'm going to add it to the stream, stream here. Okay, so you could see the Tesla chart. <clears throat> you know, we had a nice, here's where we had like, you know, like I said, the event came in and then uh, look what happened here. Just like a little waterfall. So, you know, not to say don't don't take your eyes off Tesla, uh, but you know we know that obviously the um, stock was having a hard time and didn't work out. So this was a good short for the bears, and they were on it. And I mean, I did trade Tesla. Um, I did break two ten actually, so I did actually take some contracts. And then the next day, it just didn't have the follow through, and the stock pulled back. So I did get stopped out the next day. I actually took a loss on Tesla. So unfortunately, this was not a good trade for me. Um, but you know what? On to the next because you know we're, trading is about being consistent, right? So we're going to talk about my next pick for the week, and um, the one I'm going to talk about this week is going to be my friend Meta. And by the way, I don't have a Meta account. I don't have Facebook. I'm not into the social media stock. I don't have time to go on Meta. I don't have time to chit chat with people. I remember years ago, uh, people were on uh, Meta until this day but honestly it's just not my kind of stock my kind of company so let me just show you the meta you have here or their investor relations division uh they did have recently obviously they had their fourth quarter full year 2022 results and i want to talk about meta because you know meta's chart on friday and even earlier this week was an incredible trade and i traded meta and if you guys follow me as well um, I was on a Twitter space show on Friday morning live and I did talk about meta in the pre in the during when the market opened and I did actually give 
a meta play. So if you actually look at this chart here, I mean, look how the Bollinger Bands, like, look how tight these bands are. I just love how tight they are. Um, but if I go to the weekly chart, and you could see here that Meta just did really well and um, had a beautiful run. I mean, look where it just took off and uh, people banked hard. So let me tell you how I traded Meta. So with Meta in particular, I um, <clears throat> went and I, earlier in the week, I had the 185 calls. I bought them honestly for 10 cents. I was like really shocked how cheap they were. But I thought, you know what, let me take up a, a lotto play. Took a trade on Meta and uh, took off and then made money, but I only sold half. So I had 50 calls, sold half at 60 cents, kept the other half and guess what happened? Meta pulled back a couple days later and unfortunately my contracts, the 185 calls, they went down to three cents. So I was like, oh my gosh. But you know what, when it goes down that much and so cheap, I just didn't uh, wanna close the trade because it's so cheap at this point. I made all my money back anyways by selling the first half. So I was actually riding the trade for free and that's why half was sold. So I was looking at Meta and it kind of felt like it still had a lot of strength in the actual stock. So what I did is I actually took the 180 calls and they were 10 cents. So I moved up much closer to the money and some members in my room had the 177.50s, 175s. I had the 180 calls. I took um, a big size on that. And then what happened on Friday, boom, took off. So Meta had an amazing move on Friday and um, I those contracts from 10 cents, they went to $6. And uh, I think it was like six, I have to go back and look on uh, my Twitter page, but they, they did, run, did up, run up to like $6 and uh, I think it was 686 or six. Oh yeah, there it is. They ran to 645. So uh, you can imagine the amount of money that people could have been making if they took even I alerted them on spaces at 45 cents and I had so many messages from people in the trading community thanking me for the trade. And you know what? I'm happy to have shared content. That's why, you know, follow myself, follow breakout plays one because we do give free content. So even though we have a service, um, we also give content online and we're giving you content today. So we're talking about Meta. What a great trade. Congrats to everyone. It went up over 1,300% on the day trade itself. That was an incredible, incredible move. And um, I also did it on the swing trade level. And Meta was super, super, super strong. Uh, I had members that had the 170 calls. They did extremely well. The ones from March 17, those went up over 400%. And then, of course, I had um, myself the 180 calls and those did really strong too so what an amazing amazing trade congrats to meta but i want to tell you do not take your eyes off meta so my play this week is going to still be meta so what i want you guys to watch and pay attention to is you want to watch for a break over 187.50 so if you look at the chart here we want to see it break right here 187.50 that is going to be the resistance and if it can break 187.50 uh, maybe even tomorrow. I mean, Meta could actually, may, who knows, could probably gap up. Um, you know, Meta is looking, I'm looking for it to go towards um, 193, uh, maybe on a day trade level, but I'm going to look for a swing trade. And we, act we actually have an active swing trade as well in my room on Meta. Um, members are already in this swing trade because we're looking for a continuation on Meta. But if you're not on Meta, okay, you need to watch this level over 187.50. If that triggers, I would consider a swing trade so that you don't have to um, worry about babysitting the trade because Meta can do really well. And my target on this one on Meta is um, 190, 195, 200, 205, 210. So I'm looking for 210 between, let's say, tomorrow and maybe the next two weeks. So I'm thinking Meta has the power to do that. Not for sure, but I'm going to say it's going to be bearish if it gets under 170. So if you're going to take Meta um, at this stage, I would consider the March 17 contracts and I would consider like a 185, 190 call, even like a 195 contracts um, and then, you know, make the expiry date March 17 or go straight into the month of April. 
if you go into April, you could go a little bit higher in terms of the strike if you want to give yourself, you know, extra room or you want to get them for a little cheaper than the March contracts because you're going a little further out. It's going to cost you more time for the time then you can do that too. So, you know, keep in mind that is the play of the week that I'm looking for on Meta. And um, I hope you guys do well with it. So I think Meta will be a, a good play. And uh, I think something to watch for continuation. Always watch runners. Don't take your eyes off the runners because look what happened to Square. Right, break Breakup plays, your Square pulled back earlier in the week and then took off on Friday. So if anybody took notes, you'd have banked on Square as well. So never take your eyes off the runners. We cannot, cannot stop stressing that. It's a great, great, great tip. So make sure you keep your eyes on the runners. And anything to add to today's show, Breakout Plays, as we wrap up? Um, j just want to say I, I like that meta play. It's one I'll be watching. I like your thesis being there. And I, I agree with your targets. And as we said, don't take your eyes off the runners. They're going up for a reason. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, definitely be looking at meta myself this week. Mm -hmm. So. It's yeah and by the way look i love i love the ttm squeeze here too so you know when you see this kind of squeezing i'm loving it so love to see uh meta have a beautiful run i love to see crowdstrike run up into earnings and i'd love to see how it performs even after earnings so watch those two picks guys this week thank you so much both of you all of you <laughs> both of you for joining us on the show and uh, listen this is unscripted so you know we'll have blips here and there and that's what makes it fun. So have a great week, guys. We'll see you guys next Sunday. We look forward to talking about these two plays. Please like, follow, subscribe our YouTube. And please follow Breakout Plays 1 on Twitter. Uh, Breakout Plays, can you show us your Twitter account again, if you don't mind? Yeah. Let me just pull that up. Okay. Mine is okay. I Love Stocks 1. You guys know that. So let me just uh, make sure you guys are following at breakout plays one. Okay, there we go. There uh, we go. Yep. Yeah, so, yeah, at breakout plays one on, on Twitter, guys. And uh, I post charts on a Sunday, ready for the week. Obviously, this pick with Vegas on a Sunday. And yeah, I, I post when I can for the week. So keep, keep an eye on both feeds, guys. Follow us both. And Vegas is worth, worth mentioning as well. That uh, I, I've seen some of your best plays are given out for free on, on Twitter spaces. So be sure to check it out on Twitter spaces, guys. Yeah, so thank you so much, guys, and uh, we'll see you guys next Sunday. So take care and have a profitable week, and make sure you follow your trade plans. Have a great day.